let's get to the rest of the week 11 card. And Raheem, I know you have this one already pulled up. I feel like you have maybe a sticky note that you cross out and you just add an extra win. Anytime we talk about Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs as underdogs, while well, we are in that particular spot here on week 11, as the Chiefs go to Buffalo to take on Josh Allen and the Bills. Now, you'll have the trend for what the Chiefs are as underdogs, and you will share with the audience. I'm going to remind everybody, though, the Buffalo Bills in a regular season have beaten Kansas City in two consecutive years. Take that for what it's worth. Beat them last year in controversial fashion, which really spearheaded the Buffalo comeback in winning the AFC East. If you remember the game, Kadarius Tony being offside, the whole deal there. Buffalo went into Arrowhead two years ago and beat them. We know in January it's a much different deal, but we're not in January. We're in the middle of November. It's going to be November the 17th when they play. Raheem, give us the Mahomes underdog trend. And while you're at it, who do you like between the Chiefs and the Bills? Patrick Mahomes is now 12-1-1 one one against the spread as our underdog. I always say it all the time. You don't get extra money from fading Patrick Mahomes. So, look, this, this game's tough for me, though, because, you know, when I look at this matchup, the Chiefs, they're clearly overperforming. They're a 9-0 team who is performing like a team who has won six games according to their point differential. But then when you look at the Buffalo Bills, there's a lot to be concerned about. They have cluster injuries at wide receiver. Keon Coleman has already been ruled out. I don't know what's going on with Amari Cooper. Dalton Kincaid, he got injured last week, so we don't know if he's playing. And if you're going in with cluster injuries against a Steve Spagnola defense, I just don't know how you overcome that. Now, he, the Bills were able to overcome these injuries against the Indianapolis Colts, but Joe Flacco basically spotted this team 17 points last week. So I don't know if they're going to be able to do that against Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. So I would be looking towards the Chiefs, but I got to remind everybody, my model actually makes the Buffalo Bills minus two and a half to three point favorites. So from a numbers perspective, there's a reason why the Bills are favorite here. But at the same time, I refuse to to bet against Patrick Mahomes in these spots. It's just not a winning, it's not a positive expected value wager long term. So I'm staying off of this game right now. Maybe that'll change on Sunday, but I would probably lean towards the Chiefs. Yeah, Dream's point is the right point, uh, JJ. You 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 don't get any extra credit for fading Patrick Mahomes. I have one way that I want to play this. I've already played it. And I honestly think across the week 11 slate, there are a ton of games that line up so beautifully with the teaser leg. If you're going to give me. I feel like we've been saying this a lot the last couple of weeks. Well, Allison, and for what it's worth, it's been profitable. They've it's, been hitting. It's been profitable. Yes, sir. We've been, we've been cashing some of these. That Chargers Dallas, I mean, Chargers Eagles last week was a giant winner. Didn't have to sweat that for 10 seconds. But look. Give me the Chiefs plus the eight and a half. I mean, we can go into the X's and the O's. I do like the situation of that Chiefs defense coming in third rushing defense by DVOA numbers, number three in the entire NFL. And with the injuries that, that Buffalo is experiencing in its receiving core, do they want to try and establish the run? Yes, they do. Are they going to be able to do against this Chiefs defense? Probably not. So I like the way the X's and the O's line up. But really, just give me the Chiefs plus eight and a half. I'll find another delicious leg to pair that with. Maybe two legs. Could be three-legger. But look, uh, just keep it simple. Let's do over a touchdown for the Chiefs and, and, and figure out a way to make some cash, JJ. I have no problem with that. Um, I fully expect this to be a close game. I think Buffalo's going to win, guys. I mean, here's why. If Kansas City wins this game, then I am fully on board with the idea that they might run the table this year. Despite the fact that Raheem nailed that they are clearly outperforming what they should be doing with the way they've pulled a couple of these games out of the fire. The Denver game, the Atlanta game, the Baltimore game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to bore you. Every single one of these Chiefs games, it feels like it plays out in similar ways and it's the same old song and dance. I just think Buffalo is not going to be intimidated. They've played them a bunch. They've had success against them in the regular season. And I just think the angle of getting the revenge spot, being back at home, Allen, Mahomes, it's, 
guys, uh, this will not be my wisest wager. I'm telling you right now, it won't be. But what's my gut feel? My gut feel is Buffalo is going to win the game. I, I do, Raheem. I, th- I don't think Kansas City is going 17-0 this year. And I just think they have been playing with fire the last few weeks. Sooner or later, you're going to lose a game here, right? Like, it's got to happen eventually. So you mentioned something interesting. Because right now, if you guys go on FanDuel Sportsbook, under win specials, they, they have the Kansas City Chiefs' first loss of 2024-2025 regular season. And they have odds for those. But they also have odds for the Kansas City Chiefs to go 17-0. and And that is priced at plus 800. So you guys should look at those odds if you want to grab that. But they also have their first loss of the season. I mean, they got Carolina Panthers plus 13-1. to Las Vegas Raiders plus 15-1. to Chargers seven, plus 750. Cleveland Browns plus 11-1. to Houston Texans 12-1. to Pittsburgh Steelers, 15 to 1. And then finally, week 18, the Broncos, 23 to 1. So go on fans of the sportsbook right now. If you think they beat the Buffalo Bills, maybe there's some juicy odds for, you know, going 17 and 0, or maybe you want to pick your spot on one of these other games. You know, the only thing that would give me hesitation, House, and thinking about the Chiefs going undefeated, they play this weird schedule quirk. Because of the fact that the, M- the NFL is like, we're playing Christmas Day. We don't care if it's a Wednesday. We're going to have a gazillion people watching. We know the deal. But the Chiefs play like a Saturday, Wednesday scenario. Mm-hmm. Yes. Against good teams, too. They're playing it's the Houston Texans on, and then they're playing the Steelers. Right. Yeah, that's and right. And as important and as cool as it might be to say, hey, we're the first ones to go and do it. Man, from an injury standpoint, if you have any guys that are nicked up and any guys that are questionable... If they got everything locked up, including a one seed, why are you going to go bolts to the wall in those games? It makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. And I honestly, I've advocated, I think, on the Bill Simmons podcast, the Chiefs, if I were the Chiefs, I would go ahead and try and take care of business at that Saturday game against the Texans and then just punt that Steelers game. Put in, get get everybody on the practice squad up and let them go play on Christmas on national TV. They, they get absolutely nothing out of – taking that that giant risk proposition uh and and trying to win that game uh, you know congratulations on on the you know undefeated regular season if they lose in the first round because their guys are all bashed up from trying to recover from that christmas game um i'm just not buying it the only thing house that i would say though if they take that game off and we have plenty of time to discuss the ad nauseum of this that would mean, because week 18 would roll around and in Kansas City we're talking about them potentially getting a bye, that you'd be going almost a month without playing football. That's, that's, that's a long time. So you want to tell me, maybe then that puts a little more pressure on getting guys out there in week 18 to play them. You know what I mean? If there's any team in the entire NFL that I'm not worried about preparation-wise, depending on you know, a rest situation, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. I get it. I get it. That's a long time, though. To go from basically December 25th or whatever it is, the 21st to middle of January, that's I get it. It's a long, long time, but we got time for that. We got time. But, for but you that. know what? Okay. I think we're, we may be getting ahead of ourselves because right now the Kansas City Chiefs are nine and zero, and you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, they are seven and two, and if the Chiefs lose one of these games, that Week 17 game could actually mean home foot advantage throughout the postseason. 